In Paris, the Allies signed the peace treaties with Italy, Finland, Romania, Hungary and Bulgaria. To the Italian delegate, the French Foreign Minister, Monsieur Bido, expressed the welcome of the Allied nations. Only one thing marred the proceedings. The Yugoslav delegation signed the treaty under protest, recalling their dissatisfaction of the terms. They felt that the treaty was damaging to Yugoslav national interests. Here, the French Foreign Minister signs for France. Later, Italy's Marques de Siorana signed as the first of the defeated nations. Signing for Britain is Ambassador Duff Cooper. And here is the treaty with the signatures of Bebin, Burns and Molotov. To Europe it brings peace, officially. From Nice, our reporter sends these pictures of the sunny south. While the rest of Europe shivers under the coldest spell for over 50 years, in Nice the sun seems to be shining all the time. The cause for all the merrymaking is the Nice Carnival. The sun and the laughter will do us all the world of good. Nice appears to be just the place to be this weather. American Colonel James Durrant was on war service in Germany. While there, he thought he'd bring back a little something for the wife. And this is it, the whole bag full of the crown jewels of the German House of Hesse. Total value, one and a quarter million dollars. Mrs. Durand didn't do so well either. She's already been convicted. The habit seems to be catching on. Here is Colonel Edward Murray. He went to Japan on war service. Next thing he knew, the Colonel was back in America and so were $310,000 worth of precious stones. This is just a sample. In America, they do things in a big way.